Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching and Bordering and Design. I'm going to show you how to split a pattern. Uh, sometimes you get a design and you don't need all the different elements of the design. You may just need part of it. So what I'm going to do is first off go up to File and do Save As because I may want to use this again. So I've got um, this design up and we're going to call it Spider Edited. You can call it anything you want. It could be Spider 1, Spider 2, whatever. But anyway, we just did Spider Edited. So we'll save it. Because that way we've got a copy of our design. And you can see up here it now says that too. Spider Edited. We have to copy of the design and we're not making any changes to our original that may alter it and then we won't be able to use it in the original format. So let's um, now go up to here to view because uh, this is a little bit too small for me and I like to have a you know, nice area to work so you can go up here to view our tools and left click on zoom in or you can go up to the menu bar and left click on uh, the plus that'll make it bigger and there's a slider bar here you can hold down your left mouse button and then slide it down to where you can see your design better. And then we'll slide the bottom one down as well. And if it's too uh, close for your viewing, I can zoom out. But I'm going to zoom back in again. And we're going to do the same thing, slide down. There we go. And our little spider's looking at us. So we go up here to um, edit and split pattern. You want to left click on that. Alt S is the alternate way of getting to it. Anytime you see anything like that, oops, sorry about that, that means there's an alternate way of accessing it. So let's left click on split pattern. So we have a new set of options that comes up here, a new menu. And cut pattern is grayed out until we actually select something. Uh, forgive my voice, I've been fighting a cold for two weeks. So <clears throat> Let's uh, left click on the slider bar here, hold it down, hold down the left mouse button and then slide it over so I can work. And then we will left click around the design. And I'm going to do it a little bit above the spider just so you can see how to use the eraser tool too. I've done it in another video, but this is just a refresher for you if you've never used it. Or if you have used it, we'll show you again. and that's all selected. So go up here and it has to make a complete circle. So everything's selected that we want. And we want to cut pattern so you can see it's active so left click that. <clears throat> and we want to remove exterior. So now everything is gone except for our little spider. And <clears throat> excuse me, and there's a little tip right there. So if we click the eraser tool up here that makes that active and you notice our cursor changes the shape from the point to the square like an eraser. And I just move it down here to where it's uh, even with the side of the little spider and left click one time. There we go. It's gone. And then go back up here and left click this to lock in our change. Oh, it says no part was enclosed. Okay. It was. Let's try this again. Okay, do it one more time. There we go. That did it. That locked it in. Some kind of glitch or something there. Maybe I didn't have it all the way. So let's, let's click on close. You can see that happens to me too. And now we have our design the way we want it. And we'll do save. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope I could help. Good night.